Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing Series. This is our 10th tutorial and in this particular tutorial we will learn about the logical operators. So let's begin. Logical operators are fundamental in any programming language and Python is no exception. So they are basically used to perform all logical operations on variables and expressions. So let me write it down for you. So basically they are used to perform logical operations and these operations are performed on variables and expressions so when you apply the logical operation on variables and expressions it will typically return a boolean value so it will return a boolean value which is basically we are saying that true or false so in python the there are primarily three different logical operators one is basically or the other is not and the third one is and and not and or okay so now we will see these in practically and what are the differences so first understand what happens in the case of and okay so basically when we talk about and here then it will return true if the both statements it will it will return true if both statements are true okay in case of or basically it will return true only so it will return true only if any of the statement is true if any one of the statement is true and not is basically it reverses the result it will reverse the result which means if the result is true it will return it will return false okay so we will explain uh, we will learn these things what it means what are we uh, what we are talking about in terms of statements if both statements are true then and will return true and in case of all any of the statement is true it will return true so we will understand these things in a shortly okay so but but before that when we talk about the and operator so for example let me write here results is equal to we know that it needs to be performed on any operands okay so operand one and then and operand two. So this is a basically a syntax for applying the and logical operator. Now let's go to the PyCharm here and let me create one new file here and I'm saying it as logical operators and what I'll do is that I will get some values here. So I will say C is equals to 5 d is equals to 10 okay now i'm taking another variable called result and the result will say for example i'm saying that c is greater than 2 and and d is less than 20 and if I print result here let's see what it will returns so basically what, what what we are trying to do here is that so so we are saying that C is greater than 2 this is our first statement this is our second statement and as per the definition of n both needs to be true in case 
if we was a true answer. Let me show you again. So it will return true if both statements are true here. Okay. So this should return true and this should return true. Then we will get the true. Otherwise it will return false. So here if we see that C is greater than 2. Yes, 5 is greater than 2. It will return true. Then we have D is greater than 20. Yes. Uh, sorry, D is less than 20. 10 is less than 20. Then it will return a true. So both will return true. That's why we are getting true. So any of these if false, for example, if I change this statement in this way, okay. Now C is greater than 2. Yes, 5 is greater than 2. It will return true. And D is greater than 20, which is false. Now, as per the end logical operator, both these two be true in order to get a true. Now, in this condition, it will return false here. Right? So, that's how basically the end operator works. So, it will return true only if both statements are true. And in any other combination, it will return false. Now, let's talk about the same in terms of the OR operator, right? So, any of the statement needs to be true here. So, I will say OR. So, here, this is statement 1, this is statement 2, okay? So, C is greater than 2, 5 is greater than 2, this is written true. D is greater than 20, which is false, but as per the all logical operator, if any of these statements return true, it will return true. Okay, so if I run this one here, now it will return true. This all will only return false when both will return false. So if I say this statement, C is less than 2, no because 5 is not less than 2. If I run this one, so now in this particular case, it will return false. Okay. Now, when we talk about the not, the basically the syntax for this one here is, is very simple here. So, result is equal to not operand. Okay. So, if I go here, and simply if I say uh, b equals to false and result result 1 is equals to uh, I will say not b okay and now if I print this one so what will happen is that it will return the reverse of this and the reverse of false is basically true and if I go here let's say true now it will reverse and it will say false okay so this is the very basics of the, the logical operators now let me show you how we can use the combination of these logical operators. We can use the combination of this one as well. So, what I'll do is that, let me create one new Python file. Logical operators. Okay. And it says this one is already there. So, let me go and create logical operator one okay now i'm taking multiple variables here i'm saying a equals to true b is equals to false then c again let me c is equals to 5 d is equals to 10 okay now what i can do is that i can combine those logical operators let me show you how result is equals to i will say a or b and not 
C is greater than D. So it's, it's, it's a bit complex, you know, to understand. But the output is basically a true here. Okay, A or B because any of this is true, which is A is true, and this because mainly the AND operator is using between these two statements, right? And C is greater than D, and we are saying not. Okay, so basically let's let's decode this statement. Okay, so what happens is here is that A or B. This means any of these is true. So this but first statement A A or B this will actually return us true. Then we have a statement called and and then not. Okay, so not is actually working with the operand and the operand here is C which is 5 and 5 is greater than D. So, what happens that this will return true. Now, 5 is greater than 10, which will return false. But, this not will reverse the answer in terms of true. Now, first statement is returning true. And second statement is also returning true. So, in case of end, it will return true. So if I execute this one, so it will return true. So let me print this one, print. So you will see that it will return true. Let me take another, another example for you. Result one is equals to, I will say C is less than D. And this should return true or we are saying that not A and B. Okay, now just uh, pause this video here and calculate this thing. Try to solve this one and you know, tell me what should be the answer. Just give your answer in the comments here. Okay. What should it return? Should it return true or should it return false? So first statement is very easy here. C is less than D. 5 is less than 10. It will return true. And now this is the second statement. So in case of or we know that any of the statement is true, it should return true. Okay. So if I run this one, so you will see that it will return true. So that's all about the logical operators in python thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial